subscribe. Hello all. This video's featured creature is one of the most common jumping spiders in the United States. And it's certainly the most well known. This is a bold jumping spider. And I don't mean that individually, that's its common name. Its scientific name is Phidippus audax. You've almost certainly seen bold jumping spiders inside your house, probably crawling across your ceiling or along the wall. But don't worry, they're harmless to humans. This particular individual's name is Larry. Larry is a female. However, Larry was named by a toddler. Larry had made her way into the apartment of someone I know and was doing fairly well for a while, but later took a turn for the worse. She became somewhat gaunt and fairly lethargic, so I took Larry back to my house and nursed her back to health. Because she was in an apartment, which are often mandatorily sprayed by landlords, perhaps she was exposed to insecticides, but I'm not certain. I don't spray insecticides in my house, so it's a safe haven for spiders. I keep my house clean and very rarely ever see pests such as roaches. And when I do, it's usually a woodcock roach that strayed in after being attracted to a porch light. I will make a future video all about Larry, but this video will concern bold jumpers in general. As I mentioned previously, these spiders are no threat to humans, and in fact, they're quite beneficial to have around. They often eat many insects that people consider pests, including cockroaches and flies. However, among insects and even other arachnids, the bold jumping spider is a bit of a nightmare. Well, a full-on nightmare, actually. This spider, and all jumping spiders for that matter, are master hunters. They stalk their prey and use their keen eyesight. Once they are in range, they leap onto a victim with lightning fast speed. It really is shocking to see how fast they jump. The bold jumping spider, also known as the daring jumping spider, can jump many times its own body length and subdue prey much larger than itself. A team of researchers at Cornell University determined that the lateral eyes of bold jumping spiders are outsourced for detecting motion while the interior median eyes have very fine vision, similar to humans. A few years ago, the researchers conducted a neurophysiological analysis of the vision in jumping spiders. They sedated a bold jumping spider by a short refrigeration process, then secured it in a 3D holder with some wax. They made a tiny hole in the back of the spider's head, then inserted a tiny electrode into its brain. While the spider was secured in front of a computer monitor, a film of a housefly moving across the monitor was played. Seeing the fly triggered several classes of neurons in the spider. The researchers learned much from this project. The researchers also discovered that these spiders can hear sounds, something previously believed not to be true. Although they couldn't find ears anywhere on a jumping spider, they discovered that the hairs on the legs of the spiders can detect vibrations. This allows them to hear predators as they get close. Larry is a half an inch in length, body only, which is about average for this species I would say. As a maximum, male bold jumping spiders can grow to half an inch as well, not including the legs, but females are often larger and can grow to three quarters of an inch, not including the legs, but I believe that is rare. I've only seen one individual that enormous, and that was Big Bertha. She lived on my front porch and was an extremely efficient hunter of insects and other spiders, and produced a lot of offspring. She was absolutely massive. I will create a separate video about Big Bertha in the future. The adult bold jumper is black and fuzzy overall and has a large triangular-like white spot in the middle part of its abdomen, along with two smaller posterior spots. There's also a white basal band in the front of the abdomen. However, this band can either be well-defined or nearly non-existent. These white spots can be orange or red when these spiders are young, but will usually turn white as the spider ages. And some adults can have yellowish spots rather than white. Bold jumping spiders have metallic green chelicerae. The chelicerae are a pair of appendages in front of the mouth of arachnids, at the end of which are its fangs. Although you'll often see them in your home, barns, and outbuildings, the vast majority of bold jumpers live outdoors in open woods, grasslands, and even gardens. Bold jumping spiders eat a variety of insects and other spiders. Like many jumping spiders, bold jumpers hunt during the day and sleep at night. However, also like other jumpers, they will sometimes hunt near porch lights at night. 
In other words, they need light to see prey. Phytopus audax can be found over most of the United States and down into Mexico, but are most common east of the Rocky Mountains. They often mate in late spring or early summer, and females can produce multiple egg sacs in the months that follow. She may create as many as six clutches of eggs, with each clutch containing 30 to 170 eggs. Females make a silk shelter for their eggs and guard them until they hatch and the spiderlings disperse. Spiderlings are tiny and will stay near the shelter for a few days or a week until their first molt. Although I said they pose no threat to humans, bull jumpers can bite if mishandled. Like almost all spiders, they do have venom. The venom is mild, but people with severe allergies can have a reaction to the bite. Many years ago, my daughter tried to keep a bull jumper in her closed hand, and it bit her. She compared the pain to that of a bee sting. Some people keep jumping spiders as pets. They are relatively easy to care for, however I would recommend researching the matter thoroughly beforehand. If you search online, such as YouTube, for bull jumping spiders, you can find plenty of footage showing these spiders in many different situations, including hunting. Many inexperienced people may confuse the bold jumping spider with the black widow, especially the younger bold jumping spiders that have the red on them. However, take a look at these side-by-side -side photos. Notice that the black widow has a massive abdomen compared to its cephalothorax, which sits very low. Also notice the long, thin, hairless legs of the black widow. Notice how the bold jumping spider has thick, hairy legs and is very hairy overall. Now that you've seen this side-by-side -side photo, it should be easy to distinguish between these two spiders. Okay, Larry, it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. Say thank you, Larry. Thank you.